My name is Lee Lynn. I'm the Director of Sustainability for Harris County. Um, I really like to kind of set the stage by giving you some stats about Harris County because before coming to the county, there's actually a lot of stuff I did not know. So first of all, Harris County is the third largest county in the US. We have 4.7 million people in the county. We have over 2 million in the unincorporated parts of the county. So again, for scale, this is kind of, you know, a lot of challenges. Um, who likes trivia here? Okay, I have a trivia question for you. So Harris County has more population than how many states in the US? Oh man, Joe. <laughs> Whatever, okay, fine, yes. You don't win anything though, so okay. But yes, 26 states, so just kind of, again, I'm an office of one right now, I'm doubling my office next week, another person. So again, this is the beginning of the Harris County's journey on sustainability, so I'm really, really wanting to, sh to share what happened the last year. I started this job January of 2022, and it's been about 13 months, and here we go. All right, so the I, I kind of think of it in terms of planning, Ass sorry, assessing, planning, and leapfrogging, right? So joining the county, like, the county was, had a, had a re reputation of kind of being kind of quiet about the things that they were doing, so it took a lot of fact-finding discovery of, like, what's happening at this county? The county actually has a net zero building. Did anyone know that? I did not know that. It's kind of tucked in Tomball in Precinct 4. Showcase property, right? Um, we have solar panels. There's geothermal. It's a really cool project. No one knew about it. We also have solar, random solar, um, you know, installations at a, at a toilet facility in a park. You know, we do really great jobs at like piloting things and testing things out. Really right now, I think the, the goal is to like, how do we go beyond that? Integrating, planning, and, and looking at the bigger picture. So February of last year, we actually came out with a clean energy strategy. Some of the kind of highlights that I'll talk about really quickly is, you know, we were wanting to deploy solar and battery storage at our properties. How do we look at this new energy ecosystem load management with our buildings, looking at electric vehicles, maybe buses. We do have Harris County Transit, so looking at how do buses, you know, help with grid resilience and all that stuff. So we're really trying to kind of jump to that next level of how do we manage this and think of it as all these different assets that help us boost operational resilience. And so we're working with our precinct partners at looking at community centers and libraries. And a lot of the stuff that was in that plan actually went into our first climate action plan. So thank you, Bakia, for giving a shout out for that. This happened in four months, right? We worked with our department partners. We did our first emissions inventory over the summer with like five college interns <laughs> and basically knocked this out and said, we just need to get to work. We need to start implementing. So we know a lot of strategies exist in other plans. Let's let's copy and paste and maybe, you know, do a little of making sure that it makes sense for Harris County, but we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So we have this climate action plan that was approved at court last month, sorry, January, so two months ago, on the one year anniversary of me actually being in this, in this role. So we want to get to work. So really this is phase one, phase two. So again, a lot of the stuff in the first year was insular. Next year, or this year, sorry, this year we're looking externally, working with community-based organizations, working with residents to leapfrog in the climate planning effort. So we're looking at climate justice planning this year. How do we kind of, even before we start the planning process, working with residents to help us figure out what does community engagement mean? How do we make sure that we break down those barriers for getting people to these meetings, helping us figure out what's the equity framework? What does climate justice mean? And we actually have our first meeting in Precinct 2 this Saturday. So it's the very, very beginning of the process. We're kind of calling it the pre-planning because we, haven't, we don't have a plan for the plan yet. And we want to develop that. We want to design that with community members and residents, people who are on the front line communities of, of Harris County. So thank you very much.